Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Albania or Iberia campaign in Europe Universalis 4. We're going to call in our dudes. We're not going to call in Lucca. I don't even know why we're allied to Lucca, but it's fine. We're not going to kill belligerent Naples. But we are definitely going to kick the crap out of them. They have a mothballed fort. Can I get there in time? They're not in the war yet. One day. No, there are forts here that are active. Okay. So, what we want to do, I think, is take, probably, just like a, a nice frontline force of 10 infantry, um, you know, a nice army, nice army with the leader, and move there. We'll keep the other army here as reinforcements. My navy probably needs to hide. I'm guessing that the, the various navies of the world are going to beat the crap out of it. Let's go hide it in the naval, the, the fort of Dalmatia, so that it's a little bit harder for anyone to take. Force my navy out. There is the army of Naples. I am assuming I can't get there. No, I can't. Okay. France, I expect you to beat the snout out of Castile. Go. Maybe we'll peace out Savoy first. I'm not sure. So we've called in Mantua. Savoy is working on Milan. Mantua is going to beat up Savoy. These guys have most of their armies down here. You can see that there's an occupation by Castile. Which means that Castile probably has a navy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They've got 40-some thousand troops there by Castile. 35,000. So they're out of position. We're killing one of these navies. Hopefully we can kill the uh, this navy as well. Why are you bringing your ships out? You'll be gone by the 8th, I'll be there on the 11th. Huh. Would have been nice if I could catch that army, that navy rather. We gained naval force limit, we have. Good, let's get some more caravels. Actually, hold on. This is, this is the place that trains them very slowly, right? No, that's pretty quick. Quick enough, at least. Keep an eye on that navy in case we can catch it. In fact, let's go ahead and blockade. I mean, I just don't want to get out there near the English heavies and the Castilian heavies. Now, France, we're gonna piece them out one by one. You hear me? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna wreck them. I do not think I'm gonna take any land from Naples in this war. It's too risky. The aggressive expansion is too high. We still have a coalition. Excellent. You have 13 in the front row. I have already 12 in the front row. Let's just take the whole army together then. I was thinking about advancing with just the one... the one stack. So we're probably gonna separate piece Naples then either... most likely just in all their treaties with Castile. And then in six years we can attack them directly. As a, as a primary participant. Okay, um, it's a level one fort. Let's leave behind the uh, the guy with siege value with, uh, say, five infantry, no cav, just just a token force. This army can go smash. Leave behind enough to do the siege there. Get these all occupied. Kill their navy. We want to separate peace people as soon as we can. Savoy, your war against uh, Milan is going to fail. Because uh, I've called France in on you. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Suddenly, big blue blob. Blah. This is a, a spectacular siege leader. I love, I love having high, le high leader siege. When you get like a six siege leader, man, there's nothing like it. They're so good. You know, let's wait here for a second so we can appoint the other leader. He does have siege value. Get started on that one. Level 2 forts. We're doing great on manpower. We're ready to kill that army. Uh, those are not troops. 
That's just the Navy. There are no troops on those boats. So we've got to be cautious about this Navy as it comes around. I want to kill his Navy and then just hide in the port. Avoid the uh, Aragon. I think Aragon's likely to have heavies. No, they don't. Still, my 30 ships should probably be able to win without taking any losses. We got nothing. There was like no nothing. Just 0.1 war score. Didn't do anything. But you're going to get forced back into that port. Because you can't... No, you, you, what? You just shattered all the way around? Wow, you suck. Okay, individual war score against you should be pretty damn good. We've got your capital. Um, we could humiliate them, but that's going to add an extra four years to the truce. I think I'd rather just annul their alliances with these two. And make it a seven-year truce, and then we can attack them again soon. Well, you know what? Honestly, let's just make it an let's make it an eight-year truce. Take some more reps as well. So that's them. There are no forts out here. Part of the reason why I wanted to take that, I don't have to actually siege it down. I can just say, "Hey, Castile, I want that province," and we don't have to worry about, you know, you don't occupy any forts in the area. You're right, but who cares? Next thing I want to do is piece you out so that we can get France focused on Castile before Castile has a chance to bring their troops home from, from Africa. And we also don't want France to get their pants... get caught with their pants down as England tries to land troops in the north. So it's important that we uh, try to control our ally here. Relative strength of the navy is uh, clearly in their favor. England with their 11 heavies, Portugal with 4, Castile has 3. I can't go near that. France, please don't lose your navy. I have pretty much the entirety of the navy at this point. Uh, I could try. I could try hiding my navy in Siena. And we could we could try to transport troops into the Cagliari. Getting the ticking war score would be nice. It seems risky. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Let's head to Siena. See what we see. Individual war score against you is at uh, 28. He's willing to peace out. Since I have no interest in doing anything with you, um, I think we just take war reps. I could have taken money as well, but at this point, I think France would have gotten almost all of it. No, actually, I would have gotten 42%. Okay, France. Focus. France. Kill your rival. There was an English navy down there. And we drove right by it. Because he's got three troops on them. And he's landing them over here. And I can't march. And Austria will give me military access. Thank goodness. Are you actually landing a primarily cannon army? Is that is that three cannons? England, are you are you really doing this? Are you landing three cannons? You're not. It's one and one. Okay. Well, that's better. It could have it could have been worse. There we go. France is focusing. France is being somewhat intelligent. Free loss of inflation. No, I don't think we need to do that. I think we'll take the Patriarch Authority. Our Patriarch's getting very authoritative. Still, there are 11 English heavies that we just somehow managed to sneak by. Okay, um, while that English Navy was there, I probably could have taken a month to try to land some troops here. Oops. Let's do this. We're going to be as fast as we can. We're going to attach and then just go hide in Corsica. There goes the English Navy. Rather than do a 36-day uh, naval invasion, we're just going to try to cross the strait. And unless they put a navy here, which I don't think they will, because we can see everything, we should be able to cross. Should be faster than the than the alternative. And we get the war goal occupied. I have a claim on Vidin. 
Is that from an event? I don't... Okay. Milan will cede Milan to Switzerland. Wow, Milan got pounced on by multiple people. Switzerland suffers 16.7 aggressive expansion. Very well. Did we get... Uh, yeah, see, we didn't get anything. We, we technically declared war on our rival, but it didn't count because I declared on the vassal. But it's no different, you know? Like, if I was to declare the war on Castile over my claim on their, their PU subject, it, it's the same thing. I'm, the war leader is Castile. It shouldn't work that way. It's weird. Okay, well, we have the war goal. Castile's enthusiasm is high. And now, um, if we can just get a couple forts occupied real quick. Do I try sieging down Palermo? I don't want Palermo. I can't take Palermo. I just can't do it. I just need to take Cagliari, and that's it. Cagliari gets me the claims that I need on Tunis and on Palermo. Which it just allows us to kind of blob out in this coastal sea area. Become a, a sea monster. Aha! A sea monster. What if I what if I try to help out with these two sieges? I, I think I think there's enough forward warning. Hmm. This time he's got seven troops. Let's send the whole army over here. Did you cancel military access on me? Are you serious? I can't walk through Hungary. What the hell? That's so ridiculous. I have military access through you. Whatever happened to like the, the being able to cross one province type thing? What if I go to here first? Maybe I can... I don't know. I'm going to try to sneak my navy into the Gulf of Lyon. Of Lyon. Gulf of Lyon. Lyon. Whatever it's called. And if they come nearby, we'll hide in Narbonne. Morocco will cede a whole bunch of land to Portugal. Morocco will cede some land to steal one province. Oh, that's, that's not going to work out for you guys. That was a bad idea. I mean, like, you're going to end up not waking each other, I think, maybe. I don't know. It's going to take them a while to get their troops home. See, like a second ago I could cross Hungary. Why can't I cross Hungary now? What the hell is going on? Apparently we need to get military access from Hungary now as well. Even though functionally, in a PU, they're one country. I don't get it. Okay. Um, well, they are beginning their siege. They've deposited Arthur Bedford, the 1020... <laughs> Um, Hungary, can I please have access? Three, please. Who else can we peace out? No one. Okay. Most likely, it's just siege down a couple forts, take Cagliari. It's only eight war score. We'll just peace out for Cagliari, and, like, that's it. We got what I wanted. I got to separate Naples from, his, from her allies. We get this province so that we can now fabricate on Palermo and Tunis, and we've prevented France from taking any territory. And if we only take 8% and we have 36% uh, participation, we should hopefully be able to take that province without pissing off France. That's the goal, at least. We'll take this, sure. Where do we want to stick our new merchant? We've got a merchant collecting here. Steering from here. I think we steer from there. And soon we do have to move into the Venice node. Or even the Genoa node. The Genoa node might be, might be a better place to try to go to. Okay, there's going to be a naval battle. No! No, not the Portuguese heavies. I was supposed to be watching this. 
There's no escape. 27th? 26th? <gasps> they catch me by, by the... To three days! 25th? Wait, Narbon 23rd. It could happen. They're gonna be on the 23rd. We'll see. Who who gets who gets the 23rd tick first? It was me! Haha! -ha! <laughs> you suck! Hungry! You son of a give me military access. Now if it were me, I'd probably be going for the war goal. I don't know, I'm just saying. Is this being taken back automatically? It is. Well, here's the thing. We have 10 war score. Their enthusiasm is still high, so the likelihood of a peace deal is pretty low. It's only 5, actually. But this is honestly the only thing I want. So if we can get this, get this other fort sieged, we might have it. Let's send uh, 9 infantry. Well, 9 full strength infantry, please. Send the cannons. Yeah, we'll go engage him in the highlands. That's fine. They have a two two one, but we have uh, we have a lot more cannons than they do. So, granted, we rolled a zero, which is fantastic, but then we rolled a nine. But so did they. They also have slightly more morale and discipline than we do. Seven is a pretty good roll. We did get that fort. We're at fifteen more score. center line broke as did theirs now because you have nowhere to retreat to you should be able to squish it actually uh Go to Ragusa. It's got a higher supply, I think. Let's cancel the military access through Hungary and through Austria. We only need it temporarily. Relative strength of the alliance is actually pretty close. Well, no, we we were doing fine. We got way more than they do. Their medium enthusiasm, which actually might be enough. No, I need three reasons. Okay, well, that's fine. A couple more forts and provinces fall. France, of course, suffering 5% attrition because why not, right? Might as well. France would be upset by this. They're given less territory than they expect. So you're saying I have to give you a province, huh? Well, fine. Any of this would be fine for you, huh? If I give you this one, are you, we're going to become enemies. You realize this. I'd rather give you, like, Vizcaya, you know? Six development, five development. Let's give you Rioja. Well, by giving them a Castilian core, they'll definitely never be friends anymore. Let's give them, like, the lowest... Like, hopefully France will siege down Rioja. Okay. Well, for now, I'm going to take a break. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, as always. See you soon.